I'd like you to do now is to find the equations of the tangent lines. So I'm going to find the equation of the green line. Then I'm going to find the equation of the red line. Then I'm going to find the equation of the black line, okay? Now you have to have a choice. Now sometimes you want to know the equation of the tangent line for various reasons. Um, this is something they're going to ask you to do in your homework, and it's good practice anyway, for finding the equation of the line through a point and a slope, right? Now you have two choices. You can use y equals mx plus b, or you can use a point slope form. I'm going to do it both ways and show you how to do both. I have a point and a slope. One, one, with a slope of two. We can use y equals mx plus b, and we can substitute and solve for b. That's all we're missing. Because we have a slope, we have an x, we have a y. What do I put in for y? One, one. For m. For x. One, one. Plus b. We subtract two from both sides, and we get b equals negative one. Negative one. So, I have my equation, and I still need to write it. My green equation. I should have done all this in green. Y equals? 2 x minus 1. Uh, <laughs> that. Is that better? Yeah. All right. We're also going to find the equation that goes through 2, 4. But before we do that, let's use point slope form. And I'm going to show you how to do this, because I think it's important. Um, besides which, uh, Mrs. Kelly, if you guys decide to do calculus next year, uh, the pace is about double what my pace goes, so it's a pretty tough course. But it'll get you prepared for calculus, and some of you need it, uh, depending on if you're going to go into a science ma major or not. If you're thinking at all of going into a science major, at least take calculus and, and then go take calculus at the college level. Because your first year calculus is a tough, tough course. All right. Let's use a point slope form. I have a point and a slope. Now, remember when we do transformations of graphs? Like when I transform parabolas or I transform ellipses, even better? Yes. I take y, it's always y minus the number and x minus the number, isn't it? For the center? You understand what I mean? Think of that in reverse. Watch this. y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus 1. Doesn't this go have a center of 1, 1? Yep. And have a slope of 2? Yeah. I guarantee that this is going, does everybody understand that this point, the kind of the center point, is 1, 1 for this? And that has a slope of 2? Now we just simplify it. This is y minus 1 equals 2x minus 2. And we have to add 1 to both sides? Yep. That's y equals 2x minus 1. It doesn't matter which way you do this, but when you're doing this kind of thing, Mrs. Kelly and Mrs. Hall are both going to prefer that you use point slope form. Okay? We'll try it with the red one. Instead of using y equals mx plus b, uh, we're going to use the point slope form, which is 2, 4, and m equals 4. Put it in the point slope form. Go ahead. Okay. I have a center, sort of, at 2, 4. So my equation must have been y minus 4 equals the slope times x minus, plus x minus 2. And then I simplify it. You want to add the 4 at the same time? No. y minus 4 equals 4x minus 8. Now I have 2. And 4 to both sides, and we get y equals 4x minus 4. I like that. Because it doesn't require that you go back and substitute and go back again. You have to go back twice when you do it with y equals mx plus b. I like this one for word problems involving linear situations. But when you're doing straightforward mathematics, the, the point slope form has more application for later on, especially when you're talking about ellipses and, and the conic sections. All right, do the last one. It goes through 3, 9 with what slope? 6, because the slope is equal to 2x. 
Let's find the equation of the tangent line. Y minus nine, nine equals six, six times x minus two. So remember, I told you that you guys would like the point slope form after you after I introduced it the right way. Remember, like you got to take my math. I'm sorry. Did you do it the right way? Well, I don't know. I, 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 what I do is I introduce this first because this makes more sense when you're talking about real applications of lines. This makes more sense when you're talking about graphing, especially after you've seen conic sections, right? Yep. It depends. I don't know. I, uh, I introduce it. All right, we get y minus 9 equals 6x minus 18, and we add 9 minus 5. Okay. All right, guys. Now I'm going to show you one of the main applications to derivatives. 